Hey guys, Mark George here again from the block at Keller Williams. And you know what we get asked all the time is what are some things that I can do to the house that's not terribly expensive but can get a good return on investment for when it comes time comes time to sell the property. All right, so I've got top three here that are going to be inexpensive, starting with number one. This is pretty much just sweat equity, guys, but clean it up. And uh, that might sound obvious. But, you know, you walk around and we tend to get used to things. We tend to get used to piles of things. And so as a general rule of thumb, if it's on a flat surface and we don't use it every day, get rid of it. Put it in a pantry, put it in the garage, sell it, give it away. Whatever we got to do, just eliminate it, right? And as far as the things that are on the floor, if it's not a furniture or a lamp, get rid of it. Right, put it in the garage, sell it, give it away, whatever you got to do. We want to try and minimize the amount of square footage that's being taken up by stuff other than the floor. All right, particularly in smaller homes, that can make the home look smaller. All right, so just clean it up. All right, number two is going to be paint. All right, now there's a little bit of expense here. We got to get the actual paint. Maybe we're going to hire a painter, but you know, for tip, you know, typical. 15, 1600 square foot house we can usually do for, you know, four or $5,000 inside and out, right? Not too bad. And that's going to give the home a real fresh look. We can get some updated colors in there. It's just going to appeal to a much broader base of buyer. All right. And then lastly, number three is that curb appeal, right? Let's look at the landscape job. All right. So of course, keeping the grass mowed, edged, blowed. All right, is there a pressure washing that can occur, right? I would call that as part of landscape because it's outside, right? You know, what bushes need to be trimmed back? Is there maybe just a couple of very inexpensive bushes that could be installed just for the purposes of the sale, right? Let's really, let's make an impact when our buyers are driving up to the house and saying to themselves, wow, this is a real gem here standing out in the neighborhood. All right, so let's get that curb appeal really spruced up no pun intended. And with that being said, look, those are our top three things. You know, we start getting into kitchens and baths, it starts to get a little more expensive. And that's something we should talk about on a one-on-one. But this should get you a good head start on getting a good good return on the money. And questions, of course, let us know. Looking forward to next time. Mark from the block.